Hi, old guy here. Today we're going to be talking about shop vacs. Okay, I'm not going to just talk about which one's the best or anything like that. There's lots of videos out there for that. I'm going to talk about the filters. Now, this is from a uh, rigid shop vac. Uh, it's one of their HEPA filters. If you're using something, if you are using a filter, you should probably use a HEPA filter. It keeps the dust down. You don't breathe stuff too bad. But this thing's over $20. And that kind of adds up after a while, especially since they get, you know, if you look at my uh, thumbnail, that's the way these things look after not too long using them. Well, for years, I've been using, I would call it a pre-filter. Um, and I put it over this, and when I'm done, I just take it off and put a new one on. I clean out the old one, wash it out with water, and I put it aside. So we're going to get into that, what my pre-filter looks like. Okay, so what we have here <clears throat> is a fairly new rigid vac on the right. We have an older shop vac, which they don't make anymore. And on the left, we have a over-the-top Milwaukee designed for, you know, basically soaking up a lot of water. It works real well. And, but my solution to not having to buy a filter is a sock. And it looks like this. Okay. And if you look at it, You take the shop, you know, take the rigid, and it actually, if you put it on right, like I didn't, it fits down around the filter. <clears throat> and this gets dirty. The filter gets a lot less dirty. And, you know, you take this off, you put on the other one like I had, you take this one off, you put on this one, and you take this one, you shake it out, and not just shake it out, you can run it underneath the tap in your shop sink or something, or a hose, and you clean it off, let it dry, and you've got another one to use. <clears throat> Next up is this old shop vac. Now, it's the same way. Uh, it gets hung up a little bit on the cord. Again, the sock works. Now, this particular filter is old enough that it uses a foam filter. But I used to have replacement foam filters, and I just washed them out too. But this has cuts down on smaller microns than the particular one does. This is called a filter pal, as you can see here. Up last is my Milwaukee. Now this is old and came with the same type of filter that the shop back has, because they're both older. But again, this sock works. Now the interesting thing about this sock is that actually these Milwaukee's came with one in the old days. It fit over here really tight. This is the same as that. Of course, Milwaukee, along with other, you know, Milwaukee stopped making these a long time ago. As you can tell, this one's getting a little ratty. Still works though. But you slipped it on, and when you could buy new ones, you just bought the cloth. Now this provides a lot of area more than that sock does of area to capture all the dirt. But this is getting worn out and I started using the sock on my Milwaukee. Now, when I bought these ages ago, they were all gray and they only came in one size. Now they come in different sizes depending upon 
what vacuum you have and what the height is of your um, filter. So you need to measure your filter and then you can buy the sack. And actually they don't come in gray anymore. They come in uh, yellow or orange and green. But anyway, this is what I use. So I don't have to buy shop filters, especially with the rigid. This is what I do. You don't have to.